Sometimes leaders need to look into the future and forecast what is coming next. But crystal balls really don't exist. So does the leader take a wild guess at the future and hope he is right? When the results could be dead wrong and send a company out of business? Think of Betamax, X-ray glasses, new Coke. What can a leader do? This is the Delphi method, in plain English. Back in ancient history, the god Apollo, no, not Apollo the speed skater, the Greek god Apollo. He would speak through the priestess at the Delphi Oracle in Greece. The Oracle was consulted on everything from public policy to personal affairs, and she would give forecasts for the future. But in the modern world, oracles aren't readily available, so leaders need another way to forecast the future. In the 1940s, United States military leaders wanted to know the future technological capabilities that might be used against them by enemy militaries. But the traditional methods fell short, and the military was not happy with the results. So they turned to the RAND Corporation to develop a new method. This new method was a great success, but because it was for forecasting, the military termed it the Delphi method, much to the chagrin of the mathematicians and statisticians that invented it. The Delphi method has been used by the military to forecast enemy attacks and many other factors and weapons. The Delphi method involves surveying a group and helping the group to come to a consensus around a topic. But in many face-to-face -face discussions, or meetings about a topic, one person is considered the expert, or another will dominate the conversation and many of the ideas will be lost. The Delphi method is different. Anonymity is maintained between each of the participants, so even though they'll see the other people's comments or answers to the questions, they won't know who said what. It all starts with the leader contacting a group of experts. Sometimes it is best to get experts across a variety of fields to have a more heterogeneous mix of ideas and opinions. The experts are sent a survey of questions to respond to. When the experts finish the responses, they return the surveys to the leader. The leader will then edit the content, filter out irrelevant details, and look for common themes and viewpoints. The report that includes all the ideas from all the experts is then sent out to the entire group again. Each expert can then comment on the other's thoughts, make edits to their answers, or even change their opinion based on new information. By being anonymous, the experts do not have the fear or repercussions of taking back a statement and be more willing to revise their opinions. The process goes back and forth until a consensus is reached on the answers posed by the researcher. Once complete, the leader now has a set of forecasts created by the consensus of experts in the field. While this is just a forecast for the future, it was created in a way that has a better chance of success than a crystal ball or even a Delphi Oracle Priestess. Pretty soon you'll be predicting the future as well. And that is not just what I read in the crystal ball. To learn more about how to plan out and create your own Delphi study, try these resources to start.